live. Hello, everyone. I am Real Disney, and I am so happy and excited for this day. But before we get started, I have to say happy Mother's Day today. And in the United States of America, yes, it is Mother's Day. So I would love to consider this a Mother's Day special interview exclusively with Teacher D, baby. No other than the legend himself is right here with us. Oh, my goodness. I am through the roof. All cheeks in the sky, all my teeth is out. Yes. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> blessed, blessed give thanks. You know, as we say, blessed Mother's Day to the mothers out there, the ones tuning in. My mother, although she she does not really celebrate it, you deserve your due to mommy. <laughs> give thanks. Correct. Yes, that's I. true. So it's that's a pleasure right. to be here. Give thanks the same way. Read the dead's name. You know it's doing a play. Let's go. Let's get this party started. I would like to say, cause hey, everything. I believe everything. You should have fun with it. You know, I. There's more to life than sorrow. There's more to life than depression. This is more to life. Just enjoy everything you do, no matter what it is. Even if you're in the restroom, enjoy it. Let it feel good. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> yes, I. Yes, I. That's the secret, you know. Yes. <laughs> you know, when your bodily functions are working, that's a great thing. I would think. That's my Sometimes. opinion. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So, Teacher D, wow, you look fantastic. I must Michael say that. <laughs> yes, you do. It's bright out there, you know, but you have to stay in studio because of the sounds outside and things. So, it's, it's wonderful. Right. I'm giving thanks the same way, you know. Yes, I. Yes. So, check this out. I would like to ask this first question for people that do not know whom you are we see teacher d on this on your uh tag here uh teacher d but if you can kindly tell the people whom teacher d is i am <clears throat> i am a human being living on earth on this journey my name is Teacher D. The government and my mother gave me the name Damian Warren. I am from Jamaica, Westmoreland, Jamaica. I love to sing and I decided to do so. And I began singing over in the European side from Jamaica until I came across to do my music here. So um, my apologies if you're not aware of my music. I, um, I I apologize deeply. I hope now you can catch up with this information that is in musical form. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we're here for, to make sure everyone knows who you are, spread the word, spread the knowledge, spread the positive energy that you have that I love so very much. Oh my goodness, you're, 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 you're just a great spirit. And, and it shines through and I love that about you um, and so there's so many things I would love to cover I know we don't have a year or two or three as I like to say <laughs> I try my best little, to cover a lot with you today <laughs> I'm a little bit of a jumpster I, I like to you know keep it fun I might say something a little bleh, here and there but it's wonderful. There you go. Yeah, how fun. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. Yes, exactly. Yes, so now, so now that you have told us, um, in a sense, as to whom you are, uh, I'm sure some ladies, some single ladies are out there, 
And of course, inquiring minds are going to want to know if you're married or single or mingling or however. So would you like to answer that? Well, the answer to that is simple. I consider myself a king, the king and the queen crown same time. So if I have my kingdom going on right now, you know the king have to have a queen. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the way you put that. Yeah. I love the I love the way you put that. That is awesome. <laughs> I love I'm it. Trying, I love I'm it. trying to I'm trying to establish my nice little kingdom. So you know, without the queen, it wouldn't be nice. So king and the queen crown same time. And I um I am happy with the arrangement I have, you know, because everything is all about relationships and love is something personal, as we all know. Love is from within. So we share love as an experience and we have relationships and what legal relationships and those kind of vibrations so this is how it is exactly exactly yes I. so so how do you feel when someone say to you oh you're a celebrity how does that feel i i i have not really gotten used to this kind of thing <laughs> um as a teacher i knew that Lots of children used to look at me when I teach and I was popular around the place. But this idea of being a celebrity is not something I wear as a persona. Um, I consider myself a human being like every other human being. I do my, I bring my talent forward and I am known more than some who maybe deserve to be known too. So I take, I take my attention that I am getting now with uh, gratitude and I wish to maintain and not lose myself in this journey. So I am happy that um, my work has awarded me this status, but for my personal um, experience, I do not wish to change into this celebrity person they're speaking of. <laughs> Oh, I, I I tell you that I've heard some horror stories about it, but um, yeah, you are, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wish to be free to walk around and still purchase stuff, and you know, I don't wish to be um, imprisoned by success, as they say. So I I am grateful, I am thankful for recognition, but yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I am not trying to lose myself into this sphere of celebrity-ness or whatever that word is. Give thanks to that. Give thanks to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know what? We're going to do the blanket over the head and... <laughs> no, the high them. No, you know? I, 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 really, I, like, I like my sunglasses, you know? They bring, they bring off a nice little vibration, but... It's, they also have a usefulness when the bright, the light is bright, and you know it's not just fashion or image. Yeah, yeah, the flashing cameras and all of the stuff, and all the teacher do, teacher do this way, this way. <laughs> it, it happened one, um, the first time it happened, beloved. I I stood in um, shop. I, re I remember I was in Latin America, did a show there, and when I came off stage, they, there was a circle of cameras around me. Um, the promoter said, hey, they want to see you to take some photos. I was like, oh, it's some fun. So I went around, and I was caught off guard by this circular event. Um, I, it was like... Tick, 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 Beloved, my cheeks start to hurt. Like I, the smile couldn't go no higher. I was happy about it, but it was kind of a lot, you know. But I just I was looking at it like, okay, this is what they're talking about. Okay, all right. But still, I have to stay grounded in earth, you know. Every morning. Yeah. Every morning. Yes, I. <laughs> uh, I would have been alone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would have loved to be there. I was like, look at this, look at this. Look, I was look, look. confused. I didn't know where to look. There was a lot of cameras. It's there. Like, okay, me now. Don't do it. I was like. 
So I'm saying this is a this this vibration is a is a is a show thing. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> the real thing is 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 more more humility and gratitude and happiness. You know, not not this rigid work structure. You know, <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, no, no. It's crazy stuff. It's you so but it's it's crazy stuff. Yeah. Oh my goodness, wow. That is so much. Um we are wow. Oh no. Well, I'm gonna have to invest in some um some um, blockers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the horses wear. Like you do. Yeah, it uh, it is wonderful. It is wonderful um to know that you're helping and your work is being recognized. And if you consider what you do to be contributing to the wellness of others, then it has a good feeling. But I don't wish to dwell there. <laughs> Right. There's right. a time and place for everything, you know. Yes, I definitely is always truly yeah. is. My glasses keep having to slide down for some odd reason. <laughs> for some odd reason, it's like okay, we're going here, but um, <laughs> it's okay. So, uh, when when you found out that your song. Rastafari Way was going to be featured in the movie No Time to Die, 007 James Bond. How was that? That moment, you know, when you create artwork and you, you, you're trying to expose it as much to people as you really dream of. And uh, working in reggae music and roots reggae music, we know that it's 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 a much beloved genre, but it is a very controlled genre due to the content that we sing and the way we present our content. There is some amount of limitations that is placed on it by some industry people. So, right. in the middle of that kind of vibration comes this opportunity that was to me like a it helped to validate that I was on the right path. That is the good thing about it. Um, it was. It felt like a, a gift of don't give up because it was in the middle of this pandemic vibration. Um, we were having it hard as artists worldwide. You no, know, the shows were being cancelled, and in the middle of that came one of the greatest moments of my career. So. And then the name of the movie was No Time to Die. So <laughs> imagine in the middle of a pandemic, one of the greatest moments of my career came and, and the name was No Time to Die. I was like, okay, okay, so there's no time to die. All right, good. I, I took everything as a message. So I was happy. And right. so I am still happy. And I was in a little bit of shock too. As I told you, it's the same thing with the cameras. I... I love to do what I do and the things that come with it, they're they're just so wonderful to see and sometimes they surprise me. So I just do my thing with love and what comes I, I am I am grateful for. And at that moment, all I could think of was gratitude. I went on Facebook and did a gratitude live and with a list of people that I said thanks to. It was a long list. <laughs> And even on my new album, the last track, I Appreciate You, is a thank you to, to all the fans that have been by my side for years, decades, pushing, you know, keep pushing the righteous vibration. Yes, you are definitely in the category of a living legend. You yes, know, uh, you have legends. Yes, you have legends and then you have living legends and i love my living legends and then of course you have the legends that that didn't get recognition until they're gone Pass on. Yeah, yeah. so in that essence 
of being a living legend, yeah, and you having that feature and that major, major yeah. film I mean, speaks. So much awards. Top notch. Yes, that is top. Yes. I, and, and I was like, oh, 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 <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, I had I, that I moment. There. I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, hey, let me tell you something. Um, one, one of the things that was very touching for me, and it was, um, in the I knew about this deal more than more than two years or maybe a year and a half before the world knew, and I could not oh. say anything because there was a non disclosure vibration. And right. when it came out, um, the amount of people that were saying, yeah, he deserve it. And I, you know, I, in my small brain of thinking, I did not see all these people. And they came up and they were celebrating. People were crying with happiness. And that was the time I really realized that I have a lot of people behind me. <laughs> you know, because yes, you know social media, definitely. Numbers, they will trick you. If you look at this social media thing, it will trick you. Because if you go, you know, when I was on MySpace, I had like 73,000 people and that was gone when the site went down. So I know that you don't watch those numbers. There are people out there that don't even have time for social media. And some people who don't really post a lot, uh, right. like to click like a lot. I saw them just pop up just to say, hey, teach, you deserve it, man. I am happy for you and this was uh, this was such a powerful feeling. I still give thanks to the people who gave such positive energy. I love you, and I I, I appreciate you. <laughs> yes, I. Oh, yes, I. thank you, thank you, and yes, all of the real ones. Yeah, they love I saw you. you. And... I saw you too. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> I yeah, saw I be you. I be. <laughs> <laughs> You did. You found me, and I was in total shock. Yeah. <laughs> I was in total shock. Every single I was person. in total, 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 like um. I spent. I spent, oh man, I, I, I spent, it's hard to describe. But I, I spent a good a good month or two just saying thank you, thank you. I I was talking to people directly. Lots of people. <laughs> And from last year, February, until now, I'm still doing, well, interviews, talking about this vibration, seeing people telling them thanks face to face. Um, just gratitude, man. Just being thankful. And that's that's the vibration, you know? Giving thanks, man. Oh, definitely. Always. Uh, you have to give thanks. Oh, my goodness. It was powerful. And is in you're powerful. And um, you're beyond okay, so. your professional teaching because in your music, you listen to what you're singing. You're still teaching. Sure. And how, yes, and how you transition that is very interesting. So if you don't mind explaining to the people how that came about. Well, um, I when I was going to school, I was always an entertainer, always singing for my friends, and it got me lunch sometimes, and it, it got me friendship. <laughs> That's what I thought. And ab apart from those relationships that I had with all my school friends and the people in my small village that I grew up in, I went into teacher's college because I was not allowed by my parents to pursue music at the time. I oh. went to a good high school and when I told them I wish to be an artist, it was not looked upon with happiness. They thought you have too much things in your head to do that. There was a concept then that, you know, um, artists who sing, they are not educated and this is not the truth. And so I was one of them who also, with a lot of other practitioners of the craft, 
we break that mold that people thought that you're just you just can't sing you can't write song you can't read it's not true so i became right. a teacher thinking that this was the best way to be entertaining without being the artist <laughs> that didn't last long that lasted for about 10 to 11 years and then <laughs> my true love came back for me i went into a talent contest and i got some popularity and then producers found me so yes i was a teacher before yes. and um not only that my life experience that i sing about i am not just i'm not really trying to teach anyone anything that's not the truth the truth is being a teacher has become a part of me so when whenever i sing you will hear that part of me because i'm not hiding any part of me there so you're going to hear the teacher part you're going to hear the heartbroken part that was before you're gonna hear the the shy part you're gonna hear all the parts of me they come out in song so the thing is um teaching and learning is the same thing so as i learn i share and this is what happened in the music so i my life experience comes out in artistic form in these songs so i'm i'm certain people must learn from them because in life Every experience is a learning experience, even if it's a bad one. So if I yes. have a, a song that you don't like, it's good. It's a learning experience. You say, that's not what I like. You learn something more about yourself. <laughs> so it's all about yes. learning, you know? everything in life that we learn. is just life. We are trying to figure out and find more information about. So I share what I go through and I also learn from them too. Exactly. Right. You have That's to right. learn. You have That's to right. learn and, and be receptive to that learning. And That's and right. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I love to hear those teachings and I the and then you add in that wonderful music along with that, you can't help but it's, it's our take that dive right? in. It's our tradition. The yes, you dive right in with you and you you just like yeah. I'm there. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> and I don't truly love it. So when, exactly. when so when what is your what is your what is your schedule like? I mean your schedule like like I, I it has to be hectic. There are times like there are times you know, like D. Hello. <laughs> There are times when I have to put the phone down and uh, find some time for myself just to clear that energy space, you know. And there are times when it speed up, you know. So in, in this entertainment industry, the one that I am in, because there are many around the world, there is a break, you know. There is a time for a break. Sometimes off in the middle of winter, um when we can't have these big festivals you have like a lot of club shows and uh, you know the vibration is you have a time when you're very busy or always on the road and there is a time when you take a break so for me now i i create right. a studio in in my house i have always done so i always try to have a studio because when the inspiration comes it sometimes break my energy to jump into a vehicle and drive for half an hour to find a studio and this engineer is not in the mood or not there and all that kind of stuff so to explain how I, how my day my normal day goes i would wake up if i'm not doing one of those late interviews in a different country and then you know hold a little reference go out and look at my flowers and outside with my my little things then I come in the studio, I put a rhythm in and just let it play. You know, I try to cook something or eat something and then I try to create. And this creation process can take anywhere from one hour to the entire day, depending on what I'm trying to get out of this head. And then I had to discipline myself to stop. I was told by a great musician friend of mine, 
I must turn this studio off by nine o'clock or I will become a single man again. I said, okay, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm disciplining myself to stop working sometimes by 11 or 10 and sometimes nine, depending on how, how the creativity is coming. So when it's show time, the creation process slows down a bit because now you're on the road and then also your relationship gets a little bit of strain too because you're away from you know your children and your family but if you love to do these things and let me say this to any young artists or aspiring artists or even artists who are out there established and don't know what the problem is we, we it's very hard to find that balancing time for family and work with every job that you do and entertainment is no different so um there are times that i take a lot of shows and there are times when i try not to push too hard because <laughs> i know this time of the year you know you can't be gone for the full year every year you know that's not good yeah i i, I will believe that something like that will probably be a little difficult uh to juggle <laughs> yeah that's the thing so. As they said, there is no business like show business. And when you're doing festivals in Europe, and when the Europe season is over, then you have festivals in Latin America. And when that is over, you have festivals in America. You have festivals down in New Zealand. And, but the thing is, um, you have to choose in every year, okay, I'll be going there, 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 and there. Because if you just let the money decide where you go and what you do, not what you would love to do, you can destroy your health, your family, yourself, you know, your, your whole universe that you create around you can just disappear, you know. So it, it is a juggling act and for some people, fame is more important, so they will do all of that. And we all see the result of these things, you know, wisdom dictates that you try to balance. As the, as the Bible says, as many of the great ones have said before, there's a time and place for everything, you know. So yes, I. Some markets have not seen me yet, but they will in time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. So I have to ask you this one. And when you have to travel, they you being a uh, entertainer, yeah. Do are you are are you still in the category where you have to get different visas to go to all these different places or are you issued a some sort of special license to just travel? How do you do that? Because I know a lot of people that travel, they have to get a visa for each country that they have to go to. Do you have to go through that? Yes and no. <laughs> Yes, um, there are some countries that uh, require you to have like a performer's visa and you have even higher levels of people with extraordinary talent. Um, you have many people who have that kind of visa. But there are, in, for example, in the European Union, because it's a union of countries, you find yourself that you're going to what is called a free market. So in some countries, it's okay to go through. They, they just use your identification, but, you know, you still declare your taxes and your income. And there are some countries that right. you have to have a performance visa, minimum a P1, or if you are extraordinary up in that one, they call O, I okay. think. I don't think they change the category. So artists who perform that they call extraordinary, that are the super famous ones, <laughs> They have to go in that extraordinary category. Um, my category is still entertainer, performer, so I am not in that whole area yet. And still, I travel on commercial flights. It's, it's fun for me. Um, being on a jet once, but still, uh, nothing, nothing beats just being around the people and just having the freedom to move around. Yes, one and two of them can recognize you sometimes at the baggage claim. You take a few photos, just be nice. 
but there is no stress in traveling for me at the moment and uh, there are other levels of traveling that are available, but I am not there. Okay. Okay. So I don't oh, have wow. a private jet <laughs> or <Yeah>. a helicopter. <laughs> because of those things. <laughs> and yes. Thing, I'm not saying they are impossible, but yeah, later maybe, but right now there are other focuses going on, you know? Yeah, the yeah the operating cost of having a private uh, uh, jet or or a plane, I don't even want to see those figures. I don't want to see it because yeah, yeah, I will probably pass out. <laughs> I I I, I see people who um they have those and it, they are I can see where it's necessary because you have to go on your own timing, you know, and what you're doing is important. But if you can wait, if you have the patience to wait or the time space to wait, then these kind of things are optional, you know. <laughs> can you right. hear me? Yes. Yes, it was a little bit sketchy, but we're back. Yeah, this phone was trying to turn um, the batteries. Go, go ahead. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, and then it, it'll let me know which end or whatever have you know the systems. Don't get me started with technology because I like that. Consider myself a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And there's someone that's actually watching, like to call me. Yeah, you started with the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can change the background. That's exciting. <laughs> so, my, yeah, my yeah. I probably put a library back there with books. No one reads for me. That's okay. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm in there, though. I'm in there. How about that? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> your, your touring schedule far as uh, this year, has it ended or... Are you have more for this year? And it, if so, it, where? It hasn't, it hasn't really started. <laughs> so um, in in July. Oh, August, okay. Yeah, normally, the, as I was saying about the seasons here, um, the seasons here normally start in May, some in June. And you, you always have that show going on somewhere. You know, so Correct. it is all about choices too. What I am not the person who like to force myself onto promoters. So I have some agreements that were in place from before this lockdown. I have to honor those. And um, the new people who are asking for shows and bookings right now, um, I, I'm seeing where I can put those people in. I have not started even to advertise these shows yet. So, you know, we, we just got some confirmations in Italy. Um, we, I have some in Germany. I had one in the UK that is supposed to be coming through too. And I'll be going back into Latin America down into November. So this season for me will start July and will end in November. Or continue a bit on to December. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, are any? No, do you not, have any like in the week. U.S.? Not shows. Don't don't misunderstand. It is not shows every week, but for some places like in in Mexico and so, I'm gone sometimes. The last time I was there for a month, and uh, this time I think I'll be there for about two or three weeks. So there are other oh, things wow. besides just singing that you do there. Apart from doing two or three shows, you have media visits, radios, television, all those kind of things on the ground. They also take up some days too. 
you know so yes. um, Italy I might be down there for two weeks or a week and a half so time just move you know so before you know it August is out September starts September is out August you know so this is how it works so in 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 all sometimes for for four months you can do 10 shows just for the four months but this is how many wow. times you spend on each um date you know people move faster than that yeah. in this business people have like one date here pick up the plane next place they, as i said these things are taxing on the health too so i don't i am not trying to create this running off the stage the same night picking up a show the next morning then the other morning then the other morning no 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 so i i'd like to have living space in between wow. these things and i am thankful still so i don't like yeah it holds like on to your youthfulness <laughs> you see it's like because i noticed i noticed you hold on to that yeah no it's it thanks, you know, but it's life you know in life, if a lot of artists I have spoken to, they lost their love for the craft. And I learned from those experiences. Wow. Where you can love to do something, but at the rate you're doing and the pressure on it now becomes a burden, you lose the love for it. And I don't wish to be a person who has to resort to chemical drugs to keep going. You know, I, yeah, so you have to space out this energy in my opinion I'm not yeah the artists that they should not go with the flow and those things i'm just saying there is a balance to everything you know yes i definitely yes i love it oh my goodness but i tell you this in 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 where your stance yeah um are you able to, for those that don't know, yeah. um, are you able to explain the difference between reggae and dance hall? Yes, I think I can. <laughs> um, the, genre okay. of reggae, the genre of reggae music and the genre of dance hall, um, one was a bit before the other and reggae was a bit before. Now, dancehall, um, if you notice the structure, and that is why I, I find it very hard to understand why the music industry has not created a solid genre. But I'm, so, I'm also happy that they are not really separating the music from Jamaica that way. The thing is, the dancehall is a more um, a hardcore and a faster vibe than, than the original reggae. So when the when the original reggae was doing the one and two thing, one and the, the dance are going one two one two one two so it was a more a more driving well it was for the dance hall so people danced to it it was more driving tempo and it has nothing to do with the content of the lyrics it was just how it was created at the time right. it was created with the sound system had they use the back of the record and when the dj is is out there doing his thing they used to use the fader to do those things do, 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 do. so it, it became that driving energy the reggae energy is a more melodical thing that go to that's how it's like to do 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 so it's two different things but it's not so easy for the world to, to recognize that and then even roots reggae is, is is different from the more what you call new roots vibration but as i say i am happy too that there are not a lot there are not a lot of separations to, to cause problems but still yes the dance hall music is exactly as i hear the name suggests in these halls that they keep dances with sound system this music was the top one there and they use the reggae rhythm turn over the vinyl and they start to build it on um, computer live band so that was really a creation from the people in the dance hall and the mcs and the djs so that was like the i would say that is the the son of reggae that became rap later on 
Yeah, there was a DJ from the <laughs> called Cool Her. He went into the United States and brought the sound system culture. And there come the MC. That's why most of them are still called MC this and MC that. That was the vibration that became hip hop too. That was the the vibration. Yes. Is that the same dance all thing? You know. Yes, yes, yes. And 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 me being from the U.S., it was a slow progress uh, yeah. far as integration yeah. uh, with reggae yeah. music. <clears throat> Because the only thing I remember on the radio, it would just be like Bob Molly, you know, Bob Molly, Bob Molly. It was mostly Bob Molly. And Ooh. in the US, that was most the most right. And so we were unaware of anything other than. And then when the first time I heard, more so of the dance hall era, yeah, was when uh Shabba Ranks was introduced, oh, right? Man. And we were like, Oh, what's that? <laughs> you know, and then you know, we started doing the oh, we can do that, we can shake it, shake it, shake it, <laughs> and yes, and then you know, that's when I said, Oh, I really love this music, I love that culture, let me look more into it. And I fell in love with it, all of it. And I was like, that's, that's, that, I, I honed in. And I'm like, oh yeah, here I come. <laughs> I love dance And that's when I, I started. Up, I love dance I grew up on dance hall. This <laughs> meant Bounty Killer, Beanie Man, the same Shabba Rankin. Um, we grew up with it, but we knew that it's, right. a, it's, a, it's a different vibration, you know? Well, reggae, reggae was a more had a more spiritual message, and dancehall yes. at the time had more current affairs, the trend, what's happening, the new thing to wear, the new slang, you know these things. So it, it was young people music at the time. So I I'm not yeah. sure what's happening with dancehall right now, but it's a part of the culture too, and we we love it. We love it. We don't love all the content that the younger ones are creating with it. But <laughs> yeah. Music. yeah. I'm trying to keep <laughs> you charged here in the density. I'm trying to keep you charged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's I apologize. Oh, my goodness. No, I have, I have a Sometimes it happens. that's trying to show some stuff. You know, you know how it works. There's lots of things happening one time and it's eating the energy, but it's good. Yes. Yes, go. Okay. <laughs> so I was I think I was gonna ask you, um, did you have any uh US dates, United States uh not, dates? Not uh, okay, so let me explain why a lot of people in the English market are not aware of my energy now. When I was a teacher, my first hit song was Smoke and Fly. And because of Smoke and Fly and the Ministry of Education, I had to hide that song from them. And that's why I have not been doing a lot of dates in the English market. Because my career went around the English market because of my own creation. <laughs> I created this because I didn't wish to lose my teaching job because of a weed tune. And so I have not established a lot of um, relationships in that market for bookings. I was there in 2008, the last time, 2009. I have not been back there. I'm busy in Europe and these places. So no, I am open for those bookings still. But the English market, <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing because of how I started. That's the truth. <laughs> So people know me, but they are saying like I haven't seen him. I I I tried to hide it in the beginning. I was scared, fear, you know. I was fearful. That my first song was Smoke and Fly, and I was still a teacher. I, I didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> well, it got out. 
Wow, it got oh, out. Uh, yeah, it did. Yeah, it got out. You can't, you can't hold back things for too long, you know. You can't hold back things for too long. When, when this world, let me tell you, in this world, when something gets out on the internet, it's gone. Don't even try to control it again. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm open for those dates. And as you asked me earlier, America is one of those places where you know you have to have a special visa and permit to work and you know, just like many other countries. So those are also part of the process. Yes, man. Yeah. Densely, yeah, in the process, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the process is long too. The process is long, <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> it is now, <clears throat> yeah, it is what it is. I, you know, you have to just oh, goodness. So, I'm gonna have time, to drink some water. Time. Oh, my goodness, I've been, I've been saying, I'm, I'm, I'm choking here. <laughs> Yeah, and then we're live, so I can't even edit that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it to you. Anything goes on the internet. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> but it was a good moment. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> good moments in time. Huh? You know it! I'm shaking, I'm shaking all over. I'm shaking all over here because I have this charger right here. It's in out, in out. No, no, no. <laughs> there we go. Yes, how do you do? How do you do it? You see, you see, when, when you're speaking to an entertainer, these things can happen. But I'm not an actor, but... <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Let, let's get serious. Let's get serious. <clears throat> <laughs> I am doing my best, but it's not, hey, we're having a good time. This is keeping it real. That's what it's all about. The, the great vibe. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And and to me, to me, in my opinion, I'm like, you know, I, I see a lot of interviews, but I, I I and I'm like, well, okay, question answer, question answer, question answer. I'm like, good, no, what are you are you are you in court? I mean, what are you, are you on the stand? <laughs> you know, the where's the judge? Yeah, uh, the speed thing, you know, like chess. <laughs> yeah, so hey, I, I like the relaxed approach, I like the fun, and we still get the information, you know, we still getting the, the, the word out, and you're and we're still know where, where we at, and 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 I love it. That's that's my style, that's how I interview. I like for my people, they come and interview me and bless me with the interview, you know, hey, real Disney, I had a good time. And that's what I want. I like that, you know. And to me, that makes it more memorable. You can forget it. You can forget all about an interview that goes question, answer, question, answer. You just be like, okay, I'll be glad when this is over. <laughs> Well, yes, when, when you do interviews too, it, it, there comes a time when you can find yourself like, okay, the same set of questions are okay. But, you know, this is, is, the, is the structure of it and the vibration of it. So, yeah, this is a memorable one. <laughs> give thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely give thanks. Oh, I love it. Yeah, man. So, is there any social medias or anything you would like to tell them about any businesses that you have going on? What else would you like the people, all of the real ones, to know? You can follow me on Instagram. I am Teacher D. Um, my first set of merchandise is sold out. I'm going for the next set soon. 
My new album is out there, Time Machine. You can follow on Spotify and you can listen to all the other albums out there. And once you're following me on any one of these social media, I am Teacher D. That is I A M T E A C H A D E E. So, anywhere there you follow, you will have the latest that's happening. And I sometimes and I bring you to my shows. Sometimes. It's not easy to have a live running while you perform. I see a lot of people do this. They are very skillful people. <laughs> well, can I, no, can I get a VIP? Can I, I mean, you know. Yes, when I'm in your area, you know how it is. <laughs> No problem, man. no problem, no problem. You and know, I'm like, like, look, look I'm in a with 40 people, so my VIP list oh, no. is just five and four. No, because, you know, I'm, I'm 40 people by myself. <laughs> yeah, celebrity, you. <laughs> you are the celebrity. <laughs> Oh God! I'm out there like ah, and we're like well, oh. what? What is that? We will soon but I will have a girl. I crazy. love it. Yeah, the energy is it's awesome. I love it, man. And I will also be leaving that information um in the description box after the live. I will have to add that as well, and so. You guys have to forgive me because uh, I am conducting this interview even though I am uh, based out of USA and currently uh, I am located in Africa. Um, Old you. Traveling the world. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But hey, I, I that's what I love my job. I can I can do my job from anywhere, as long as there's internet. <laughs> as long as there's internet, I can do my job. <laughs> Positive, man. But yes, I'm, I want to thank you so, so, so much because, oh my goodness, you agreed to do the interview with me. And I'm like, what? Little old me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and thank you for finding me. You found me. Yeah. I, I was, I saw I was that, I saw blown that away. Like I saw that I saw, I saw that little that inter that clip that you did that presentation and I was like, okay. And I reached out to you just to say thank you very much. You remember? I was like, thank you very much. I shared yes. it on social media too. Yeah, I think gratitude is important. And um, if you, out of love, you create these things and you're making um, the market more aware of what's happening, thank you is nothing. That's the basic, that should be the, the, the easiest thing for everyone to do, in my opinion. You know? So that was all the yeah. was established. Huh? Yes, and you have a couple of comments uh, I don't know if you can see them or not on your end, but uh, if you would like <clears throat> me to let you know what they are, would you like to hear that? Yes, let me hear. Okay. Um, this one is from David Kajovi and Tita D. I love the way you carry yourself, your energy. And I keep following you. We keep the fire burning. Blessed love. We keep the light out there for ones and ones. Blessed love. Big up, King. Big up, big up. Yes, big up. I love that. That is a that's an awesome comment. That is totally awesome. And he feels honed in. Wow. That's how you can touch people. That's how you, you really just touch people. Yeah, man, all is one. And, you know, we are one being. We are one life in this earth, in a one universal energy, all universal. by the creator. We just give thanks. We, we help ones and ones because we ourselves require help too sometimes. So it's not just trying yes. to be the leader up. It's not like that. 
is sharing and caring exactly. for each and everyone just like you care for yourself, you know? Yes, I. Yes. Yes. That is so awesome. And I know you're a busy man, and I appreciate everything. Uh, you guys heard the um, his social medias, and I also i am going to repeat again. Uh, we'll leave that information in the description box. Um, and please, yes, please give thanks. Like this video, please. Please, please, please. And make sure you guys share this video. Get the word out. Hey, let your kids know this is current history. You're looking at it. Learn. This is worth learning. This is worth doing. This is Irie, as they say. <laughs> Irie. I love those glasses. I, I, I love it. Man, I love it. it oh, it one last question. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I should have known. I... <sighs> yes, madam. <laughs> The Facebook incident, the Facebook incident, uh, where you were, <laughs> they they actually had the audacity to, uh, <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> so let me say it quickly. I was singing a song off the album Time Machine. Reggae. And I had the rhythm playing and I was singing for my people on the live and they muted me. Yes, they, they muted me and said that I, I don't have permission to play this music. I was like, no, I was singing. So I took I took a good thing out of it that it was probably close to the recording. But yes, I was in the same mood, you know. Reggae, reggae move, reggae, reggae move. When it's dark outside and I don't know what to do, this put me in a reggae move. I know the sun is out, but it's not shining through. This put me in a reggae move. But on Facebook, when I said, oh, it me <laughs> Facebook was like, oh, stop each. No, you're talking. We like, stop. <laughs> that was the next. Thing. Your own song. Your own song. That is crazy. You can't even do your own song. Oh, my God. That's an experience. One to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe. I was like, what? 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 Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank all the fans and friends who are in. Uh, um, gratitude, you know. It doesn't take a very long time to say thank you, Jaja. Thank you, Jaja. It doesn't take a very long time to say, Jaja, I love you. Yeah. That's it. Ah, this has been awesome. This has been the best on oh, 58 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Yes, so I will definitely be in contact with you and everything like that. Oh my goodness, I truly appreciate this. Very entertaining, very informative, and this whole interview was exclusive. I'll tell you what the fireworks, baby. So until next time, thank you, everyone, Teacher D, Teacher D, mm. check his music out, you will love it, it's, it's real music.
real nice music. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was Teacher D. So, hey, make sure you guys please like this video. Follow me also on all social media. You can also Google Real Disney. Yes, please Google me. Please check out the Real Ones merchandise, okay? Real Ones merchandise is still on and popping and trending as well. So, hey, until next time, tell them I said happy Mother's Day. I got to go. I got to go call my mom. <laughs> Mwah.